today we got the SEM E17 explain board and we will use it together with LVIP to host a web server application and we will use the application to monitor the board and also uh, set up uh, states of the LED. So let's take a look. Okay, so how it works. This is our page. Uh, here we got a link to the page itself to uh, read the newest version of it. And uh, the first thing is the LED on. So if we read the page when the LED is off right now, so it will tell you it's off. And uh, when it's on, it tells you it's on. Uh, next on, we display uh, an image. And also right here we got uh, commands. For example, LED1 command will turn on the LED uh, forever. So let's try. Okay, and now it will stay on. And second command, LED0. And this will make the LED return to the previous state. So blinking, just like so. Okay, so let's take a look at the project. Okay, we are in the microchip studio. We can see the page for the board. It uses a uh, embedded debug, the CMC DEP. And uh, a quick tip here, if uh, in the project properties you don't see the tool, you can go to the debug options and in the debugger you can uh, restart the backend. So just unclick, OK, and again go in here and click again. So after you do this, the debug uh, will be available here. Okay, we use the SVD. Uh, now let's take a look at the ASF. Uh, by the way, this is a example project generated uh, with ASF. And what you've got here is the Ethernet uh, trans receiver, which is located on board. Uh, you are for the uh, console and the usual stuff. I also had the delay routines, but uh, this is only for debug purposes. We don't need this actually. Okay, now let's uh, go to the main file right here. So at the top, what we got here. Uh, some variables for the flags. So LED flag. So it simply tells you if it's on or off and a CMD flag to uh, make the LED uh, always on. Also, we got an extern um, to a variable that holds up a raw HTML page. And uh, we will change it, change a few bytes in it uh, to set on the page if the LED is on or off, right there. And let's take a look at the main function. We got the usual uh, system initialization, console, and uh, Ethernet uh, setup. So if we take a closer look, it will be the LVIP initialization. So the features that you use, uh, let's take a look. And here we will use the uh, ARP. UDP and also TCP IP. So that's for it. And also we got the, uh, the hardware setup and also the timer setup for the stack. Okay. After this, the service for the uh, HTTP. We will take a look at this later. Uh, I added the LED output, a variable for uh, counting the loops that the board makes. So this is a indicator of uh, how busy the board is with uh, Ethernet tasks. 
and uh, at a certain value, which is this one, the LED is being toggled. So, okay, so this is for this part. And uh, also to mention, if we toggle the LED, and by the way, this is on the LED, uh, we change the HTML page. So at the address where we got uh, those three bytes, we change it if it's on to on and if it's off to, to off, like so. Okay, now let's take a look maybe at the service of the HTTP right here. And the most interesting part here is the receiving. So uh, mm, this part of the program I added to receive uh, the information that I typed in here and click the post. So if we take a look at the uh, source of the HTML page, uh, the input uh, right here uh, is the F name. And this is the what we have right here. And we post it with the button. And uh, if we don't want to open up another tab, we just simply open a element like so. Okay. So if we post uh, in the packet, we got uh, the input uh, right there. So we just uh, simply check the data from the packet if it has the command that we are looking for. So if it's LED zero, we simply clear the flag. And if it's uh, LED one, we set up the flag and break. Uh, okay, and uh, for the normal uh, showing up of the page. So if we, so if you just simply open up this page or just go to this, uh, then the browser sends uh, a get uh, method packet and uh, right here you simply check if it's correct if it's okay then uh, you open up a file that contains the page so this is the string for it and now uh, let's take a look at the files of the pages so those are located in the fs uh, data so right here and uh, here we have uh, the binary for the page and also the binary for the image uh, so one thing to mention here if we want to modify the page we have to declare it as a just an unsigned so no static constant uh, we want to uh, have a copy of uh, this variable in uh, RAM so we can just modify it on the fly uh, but uh, if you only have it in flash you cannot modify it okay okay you can but it's uh, more difficult and uh, uh, yeah you have a certain amount of uh, times you can modify the flash it's quite a lot but you simply don't do this put it in RAM and you can change it there uh, okay, and uh, you have the structures for the files. Mm, the main file here, the index.html that we want to display, if we go to the address of the board, so in this case it's uh, this address, we display this page, just like here. So we open that file, and this file is the the page that we have. Okay. Uh, and also uh, one thing to mention here, uh, those are generated using the script that is provided by the LVIP. Uh, it can be found on the page. And I got it here. To demonstrate how this works, you have to install 
uh, Ubuntu LTS on Windows or if you have Linux ju then just go to the location let's invoke the Linux okay and you have to execute the script just like this and that generates a, a C file and the C file contains the binaries of all the files that are in this folder so you also got uh, trash uh, from the script itself the C file and you simply have to delay those and you got the files uh, for your page and other stuff so in this case a uh, image okay and you also have to modify those uh, in my case it will be just like I have it so and uh, there's a plus and minus offset uh, for the data and the pointer to it because uh, those files generated here uh, they have a uh, header here that uh, is uh, included uh, with the script you can simply delete it or you can just add uh, as I did and the script also does this a offset like so so in my case it's looking like this okay and uh, the question here to how to look do i locate in the hdml uh, this exact line so uh, you simply search for this line okay so let's search for the led space so we have le this is d this is space and those three bytes are off by default so you can just simply find it somewhere in your program or just find it yourself by taking a look at the lines where it is uh, I just cal calculated it uh, quickly and this is in the main loop so it starts up from this address to this address Okay, and uh, let's take a look uh, also what do we get from the HTML if we send data through the command, through the post. So for this, uh, let's go to the receiving of the packet and we will uh, make a breakpoint break if we receive the LED one okay so now let's attach the debug like this okay so it erases the flash memory and now it writes to it okay now let's go Okay, and by the way, uh, if the um, say uh, the, the address is ready, uh, the LED will come up. I see that it's on, and the page is okay. So maybe now for kicks, let's type in the wrong uh, wrong command. So it didn't get caught right here it was here okay and now let's send the correct command okay and we got it here so uh, we got all the data from the packet mm -hmm. right here and uh, it's uh, more than 80 the debug only uh, Says, says that it's 80 because uh, somewhere at the 81 is a special charter or something 
Um, but if you take a look at the structure pointer here, you can see that the length of the packet is 550. So uh, somewhere around it, I mean, somewhere in this packet, we got uh, uh, the command. So we just right here, search for it, compare the string, in a for loop in which we increment the address. Uh, it's okay uh, that we go uh, those four bytes uh, uh, later than the final address of the data, that doesn't really matter. The chances are that we don't get the uh, comment after the variable. Okay, so now we have the flag set up. And to check this, let's set up a breakpoint right here. Let's release this. And as we see, uh, the LED is uh, on and the uh, flag is also on. So this will always be on. Okay, so now let's just stop debugging because uh, the page won't actually work if we got the debug now. So we broke the connection with the router because it doesn't respond to the packets. So now let's just stop it. Uh, and by the way, if you want to change the address, you simply uh, go to the config and in the Ethernet config you can find the IP you want to use together with the board. So in my case I set up 70 for the address and uh, now let's take a look maybe at the page, but first on let's restart the board. Okay, so it's coming up and now the LT is on. Okay, so the page is on and if we refresh it, it toggles the LED. a bit of lag but whatsoever let's just type in the command and if we refresh it we can see it's always on now off and it's blinking as before okay so this is it quite simple only requires some skill for uh, putting together a HTML page and then uh, the communication uh, is quite simple just simply in the, in the file that has the server in the receive you just simply add the commands you are looking for and this is a nice way to make a connection to a microcontroller. So thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful in your project. And I will be doing uh, the same uh, project for other microcontrollers like the Arduino Duo and uh, the Atmega. So keep tuned and see you later.